Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Matthew Kent Olsen is an American professional baseball first baseman for the Atlanta Braves of Major League Baseball. He previously played for the Oakland Athletics. Olsen made his MLB debut with Oakland in 2016. After six seasons with the Athletics, he was traded to the Braves prior to the 2022 season and signed an eight-year contract extension. Olsen has won two Gold Glove Awards, three Fielding Bible Awards, and was an All-Star in 2021. The Atlanta Braves made a massive trade that likely signals the end of Freddie Freeman's time with the Braves. The Braves traded for Oakland A's All-Star first baseman Matt Olsen, the team confirmed. Atlanta will send top prospects outfielder Christian Pash, catcher Shee Langeliers, and pitchers Ryan Cusick and Joey Estes to Oakland in return. Who exactly is this newest Atlanta Brave? We've compiled some quick facts to get to know him. 1. He's a local standout returning home. Olsen is a Gwinnett County native who was a star player during his time at Parkview High School in Lilburn. According to the school's website, the 27-year-old holds several records at the school. Most career doubles. Most career RBIs. Most career bases on balls. Most bases on balls in one season. Most career pitching wins. Most innings pitched in a season and fewest walks per seven innings during his career. The high school retired his uniform number, 21, in 2019. Many of the records Olsen doesn't hold are held by fellow former Braves star Jeff Francoeur. He's coming home. Hash view boys HTTPS, divided by divided by T. Co divided by D alone T1 Joik. Parkview Baseball March 14, 2022. 2. He had one of his best seasons ever in 2021. The 6 feet 5 inches first baseman earned his career highest totals in batting average. On base percentage. Home runs. RBI, runs, hits and doubles last season. All of that culminated in his first All-Star selection. Here's hoping he can bring an even better season to the A. 3. He bats and throws with different hands. While not as uncommon as it might seem, it's still pretty cool that he's talented enough to use both of his hands. Olsen bats left-handed, but throws right-handed. The MLB says that among players who bat and throw with different hands, it's more likely they bat left-handed and throw right-handed. 4. He made his MLB debut with the Oakland A's in 2016. He was drafted during the first round of 2012 MLB draft by the A's. He had committed to play baseball at Vanderbilt University, but took his commitment back and signed with the Athletics. He played several seasons in the minor leagues before getting called up to the majors in September 2016. He set a rookie record by hitting 13 homers in the first month he was in the major leagues. He's also tied for the third most home runs in a player's first 65 games in MLB history. 5. He was almost college roommates with Dansby Swanson. After Olsen verbally committed to Vanderbilt, he and the Braves' Dansby Swanson were set to be roommates and play baseball together for the Commodores. Olsen ended up deferring college to sign with the Oakland A's. Swanson ended up attending Vanderbilt and playing college baseball before joining the MLB. 6. He's a newlywed. Olsen and his wife Nicole tied the knot last November in Atlanta. The couple lives in Atlanta during the offseason. Atlanta Braves signed Matt Olsen to 8-year, $168 million deal through 2029 season. The first call from a general manager to a newly acquired player is usually perfunctory, a simple welcome. But when Atlanta Braves GM Alex Anthopoulos phoned Matt Olson on Monday after acquiring the all-star first baseman in a trade for the Oakland Athletics slugger, he had more news. Anthopoulos told Olson that his next call would go to Olson's agent to open conversations about a long-term deal. About 24 hours later, Olson signed an eight-year. $168 million contract with the Braves to culminate a series of events that he repeatedly referred to as whirlwind. The deal, announced Tuesday, runs through the 2029 season. It also includes a $20 million club option for 2030 with no buyout, said Olsen, who rooted for the Braves while growing up in the Atlanta area. The stars kind of aligned perfectly, maybe for the Braves' leadership as well, because this move could help to deflect criticism over the handling of their negotiations with longtime first baseman Freddie Freeman. When Anthopoulos completed the deal for Olsen, he effectively closed the door on a return to Atlanta for Freeman, who had been with the organization for 15 years and was a fan favorite. The Braves' ownership had not finished a deal with Freeman last spring, or last season, angering a lot of loyal fans who believed the team was being cheap. But the Olsen contract is the largest in the organization's history. 
besting that of Freeman's $135 million deal before the 2014 season, and the 27-year-old slugger is immediately installed as a centerpiece for the Braves for years to come. Alongside Ronald Acuna Jr., Max Fried and Ozzy Albies, he is now part of this core, Anthopoulos said Tuesday. He wanted to be here. Olsen bought a home in Atlanta last August, and he had joked with his fiancée that they would have to arrange for somebody to pick up the mail. With the Athletics fielding offers for Olsen at the outset of the offseason, he mentioned to her, joking again, that the November wedding might be interrupted by Olsen's agent, B.B. Abbott. On Monday, Oakland general manager David Forst met with Olsen before the first full squad workout and told him they couldn't let Olsen go on the field because he might be at risk for an injury at a time when a deal seemed close. After the Braves gave up a package of prospects for Olsen, Anthopoulos made the phone call and told Olsen about his plans to make a big offer. I was like, what did you say? Olsen recalled. When Abbott subsequently detailed the offer, Olsen hung up and said to family members, what's there to say no to here? He gets to play for his hometown team. That is a championship caliber club for big money, living in the Atlanta home that he and Nicole just bought. As a first baseman, Olsen gets to have conversations with other players when they reach base. Asked what he would say to Freeman when that next happens, he responded, I don't know. We'll have to see what's up there. Olsen, who is not eligible for free agency until after the 2023 season, will make $15 million in 2022, $21 million in 2023 and then $22 million per season over the remainder of the deal. He also has agreed to donate $1.68 million to the Atlanta Braves Foundation. He is a two-time Gold Glove winner with a .252 career average, 142 homers and an .859 ops over six seasons. Olsen hit 39 homers and drove in 111 runs last season, finishing eighth in AL MVP voting. Obviously, I know Atlanta, Olsen said Monday. It's an amazing place, World Series champs, my hometown. If there was one place to go and leave here, that's the place to do it. I'm excited about it. It was the 10th contract of at least $100 million agreed to since the end of the World Series and the first since Major League Baseball's 99-day lockout ended last week. Atlanta was not willing to make that sort of long-term commitment again to Freeman who became a free agent after last season. Freeman, 32, was the 2020 NL MVP and a five-time All-Star over 12 seasons with Atlanta, including as a veteran leader on last year's championship team. Freddie is obviously an amazing player. Olsen told reporters Tuesday, it's just not going to affect what I come here and do. I'm here to be Matt Olsen. That's all I can really control. This is all for today folks. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and if you are new, then don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the future updates. See you till the next video. Thank you for watching.